Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take multiple spreadsheets and copy them into one sheet. So in this example, I got two spreadsheets up here. I got spreadsheet example one here, which is a table of data, no formulas. Uh, so I got the name, the hours, and the day, which would be date. So I got this data on sheet two. I got a sheet one down here with this data and sheet two with this data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the data from both of these sheets and wrap it into this spreadsheet. And again, I got a header record here and what it's going to do is going to add the records down below. So I got my custom button here to do that. So I'm going to click it. It's going to run. It's going to go to those two files, pull all that data in from all the sheets. As it keeps going down, it's going to bring all those records into this one sheet. So now it's finished. So in this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together, the Google Apps script. I'll show you how to put that together. Um, if you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I have my spreadsheet. I started it by giving it a name called Copy Spreadsheet. I changed the sheet name to Data. And I added a header record of name, hours, and day. And that is it. There's nothing else in here. This is basically the start of my sheet. Now if you're going to copy stuff in and you don't really, your data is just going to vary between columns and headers and stuff, you don't have to start with a header record. You can just keep that blank and just bring in the pure data. But since my data is like uniform from my sheets that I'm bringing in, I'm just going to put a header record and then add the data below while I'm skipping this header record for each one. So it's up to you. I'll show you how to bring the header record in if you want or not bring the header record in. So let's go to our Google Apps Script code here. I'm going to give this a name, start our project here. Give it a name called Call it copy spreadsheet, hit OK. I'm going to copy in the code, uh, three functions. So I have my three functions copied in. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to go through it and explain it. The first function here and the second, well, the first function adds the custom button to the spreadsheet. So you see this here? That's what I'm adding up here, the custom and copy data. So this function handles that. It uh, creates the menu name custom, adds a tab underneath called copy data, and what that copy data does is it calls get data, which is my function down here, and this does all the copying work down here. And this is the function that adds it to the menu. My second function is the on open, so every time I open the sheet up, it's going to add that menu. It's going to run this function, which adds my menu tab to the top every time I open it. So it's available right when I open it. So those, that's what these two do. So the third one is what gets the data. So I start out by declaring array with the spreadsheet names I want to copy. So in this example, I got spreadsheet example one and spreadsheet example two, which are up here, spreadsheet two, spreadsheet one. Next, I am declaring my sheet here. I want to declare this sheet first and get it the objects declared. So I'm doing the active sheet, which is I'm on currently. I'm declaring it to object SSA, and then I'm getting the copy sheet object, my sheet object. And from there, I'm going to clear the data out. So I'm going from A2 to Z. So I can go A2 is starting here, and I'm going all the way over to Z. And you can make that bigger depending on the data you're wanting to bring in. You know, you extend it back to all the way to, you know, ZZ and all the way out there. But I'm just going to take it to Z. Next step, I'm going through my array. So I got my get files array. I'm stepping through these names. So I got my spreadsheet example one, so ex spreadsheet example two. And I'm going through these. From there, I'm going to my Google Drive. I'm looking up this file name. So I'm passing the file name here get files z 
and then I'm, it's going to pull back all the files with that name. I'm only expecting one file to pull back, but if I have multiple ones, it goes through this while loop, it takes the first one it sees, and then it breaks out. So I'm only taking the first one I find, although I should only expect one file with that name. You could have multiple files with the same name, but in this example, I'm just really expecting one. So that's why I'm breaking out after I find the first one. The next is I'm passing that file here to get my spreadsheet object. And then I'm declaring that as the active sheet since I'm going to be working with it. From there, I'm getting all the sheets from that spreadsheet with my sheets object or sheets array, basically. So then from there, I'm going to loop through those sheets with what's within the spreadsheet. And then I'm getting declaring the sheet name, the range. I'm getting the data range, which is everything that's populated within that sheet. So if I go to one of my examples here, when I say get range, I'm getting the all the range that's populated. So from A to C16. And then I'm getting the values. So this is I'm declaring an array from that range. So now I got my array, which the array goes with the array is starts with a zero with these three records in there, and then it goes to one with these three records in there, it goes to two with these three records in there. So that's how it lines up my array. From there, I'm going to go through my array and append my row to my, my one sheet that I want to bring all the data together. So I'm going to be adding. Appending means it's going to take the next available row, so it's going to go two, three, four. So here I'm starting with one here. My array generally my array starts with zero. I'm starting with one. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't want the header record in here. But if you do want the header record, then I would put a zero here. That means it'll bring every piece of data off that sheet, including the header record. But for this example, I'm taking out the header record because I just want to pull the data because I already set up my header record here and I just want to bring it in without the header record. So then again, I'm appending that value, that row of data to my copy sheet data. So that's the end of that function. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call my add menu function. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to call it. This should take us through our permissions. So I select my account. Hit advanced. Go to spreadsheet. And allow. So now I can go over here. I got my button up here. I'm going to select this. And then from there, it should start populating my data. And then after this finish, I'm going to add another spreadsheet and kind of show you how it'll just extend out here too, depending on your data doesn't have to be such uniform to have this work either. So I'm going to add another sheet here called search all sheets, which has different kind of data. I used this in a previous video here and just random data like this. So I'm going to add that to my list. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to add it here. There I have it listed. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to run this again. Now it's going to bring all this data in plus everything on that other file as well. And I'm scrolling down as it's putting data in. See, here's where it's bringing in the, the data from my search all sheets and how it comes in in different widths, links. It's just bringing it all in. So there, it's completed. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. I will copy the Google Apps Scripts code in one of the comments below the video. Hopefully, it's the first comment. I'll copy it in there. Until next time.